video we are going to see a few open source tool which you can use it as an alternate for SPSS. So what is SPSS tool? So SPSS is a statistical package for the social science. It is used by various researchers for complex statistical and data analysis. Okay, so SPSS is a paid software. Okay, why do we need the alternate? Because SPSS is a paid software where everyone cannot afford it. Okay, like all the researchers cannot afford for that. We are going to see the best five alternatives that you can replace with SPSS and you can use it for free. Okay, so the very first one is Grit L. Okay. So this is a cross-platform software package you can see here that is it is written in C programming language and it is a free for use okay because this is uh, uh, under the terms of GNU that is uh, general public license got it so you can download it for any platform here you can see this is also available for Linux, Linux, Fedora, okay Windows mac os okay so this is available for almost all the operating system and if you want to know about the manual okay if you want to know about the documentation you can also click here and check for the manual okay in the left side you can see various options if you want to know how to do this that is gretel for windows you can click here and see how it works okay what are the software requirements they have specified here and you can download the latest one latest uh, uh, release and you can make use of it and uh, any other even if you are any other uh, uh, platform you are using then it is also available okay so Gretel is the first alternative which I'm recommending and the second one is blue sky okay blue sky is also a open source edition okay this you can use it as an alternate for SPSS okay so this is also possible for downloading so this is uh, uh, useful for all the researchers to work with so if you want to download it go to downloads and you can see various uh, release okay it is always advisable not to download the latest very latest release okay and that too within one or two months because you know they have released it they might, that release might have some bugs Okay, so it is better to download one previous, that is the one which is released recently, that is the previous one before the current release. Okay, here you also have a user guide. Okay, so here you can simply select and see how you have to work with the blue sky and the downloading and everything. Okay, so this is a user sky, user guide for downloading it okay or you can also see some various resources like go to resource and you can see guides and templates and how blue sky will work and how you can see how you can download and how you can install and everything okay the next tool which you are going to talk about is rk word so since the name itself you can see that it is developed uh, with like it is a package of r programming language okay it is like an id okay that is an integrated development environment and gui which is a graphical user interface which means that you don't want to write more programming on it you can simply select click and uh, use it okay so uh, the previous one in the previous uh, uh, tutorial like uh, in previous video i have discussed about graph patrism that is a complete tutorial i have uploaded you can check that okay so this is like graph patrism only like you can easily click and uh, use the tool so if you want to download it for windows you can click here and download if you want to download for mac os and if you want to download for linux so all these things are available okay if you want to learn uh, specifically click learn so that here you have overview screenshot and user documentation if you want to know about the overview of rk world then you can find it here okay how uh, what are all the various uh, um, windows you can see and what are the various stuff you can do with rk world and if you want to find the various screenshots here they have given the screenshots like how to go with this like initial startup or dialog box you will get it and how to use the workspace and how the application works so don't worry about these uh, uh, programs and all okay there is a, a statement so it's very easy to for you to execute see it will be like this only okay like um, excel sheet got it so uh, for few excel sheet it will automatically create other uh, 
commands like a programs everything okay this is about rk word fine so you will be uh, very uh, um, surprised and attracted towards rk word i'm sure so next we are going to talk about deducer okay deducer is an another uh, alternate for spss tool so this is the link for deducer you can see here where you can download and install deducer from here itself and if you want to see more screenshots on it you can see here so in the very first introduction itself you can see that it is designed to be free easy to use alternative uh, data analysis software such as spss jmp and minitab okay so this is also you can this also you can use it for data manipulation and data analysis task which is for free okay and this too is a graphical user interface based that is you can simply click and use for your purpose okay and if you just come down you can see various structure so how your menu bar what are the various menu bar you will be uh, getting and you can simply click and see how you have to use it okay if you click here and see you can see that it's a dialog box where you can find the various operations and it will show some um, guide for you to how to use this tool okay so this is about deducer so here you can see various uh, tutorials for the same okay if you click on the screenshots you can see the screenshots as well and how it exactly works okay and another alternate is a j a s p which is jasp okay it is really an awesome tool which you can use it as an alternate for spss i'm sure you will not regret it okay so this that is this will be very great for you to download and use it this is easy to download and easy to install so simply click here to download and install okay and you can also see the various options like teaching if you click the teaching and you can find various useful resources here okay the resources for the teacher so what is a data library date just manual even you can find various data sets here okay so everything is properly organized here and you can easily find various tutorials for jasp if you want to use a jasp okay here you can see that the data set are available here for bayesian okay and one some one sample t test exploring data okay so everything even from the data set and uh, every manuals that is a manual for every topic inside the jasp and every features inside the jasp is available here so hope this will be useful if you want to learn any of these tutorial you can tell me please comment it please send it in the comment uh, then only everyone uh, will know like what uh, what tool you wish to learn okay so if you reply in a comment definitely i'll be teaching you that specific tool okay if you want to learn jasp please comment like i want to learn jasp okay and thank you for all the subscribers who are subscribing my channel and uh, keep sharing this video which will be useful for almost all the researchers and if you have any doubt please don't hesitate to ask me through the comment i'll be there to help you out and i'll be replying you immediately take care bye bye